Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face, and we're going to be doing some T4 Firestorm Abyss. I wanted to do this now because I've actually got a new monitor and a new uh, graphics card for my computer that enables me to play in 4K with a pretty decent frame rate. So we're going with the 4K Abyss style right here. Hopefully it'll look really spicy, look really good for you guys. Uh, I know that the GUI can look quite a bit small when I watch people who are doing 4K gameplay. I've have watched a few people, like for example, The Lone Wolf. He's been doing some videos in 4K and I saw that his uh, footage, his uh, GUI looked quite small. I think it's quite nice because it makes so that you can see a bit more of the ship, which is like the majority of the picture. It looks a bit like nice and less words all over the place. I don't know, maybe it would be a bit too small for some people that maybe you can't really see really what's going on. But personally, if I'm watching someone, I would prefer to have it in like with the GUI small like this. And the reason why the GUI is small like this when you're doing 4K is because you're essentially in a 4K monitor is essentially four 1080p displays. So you can see like this is how the amount of pixels that would be required for one 1080p display, one here and then one here and then one here in this corner right here. So when you've got so many more pixels, you can sort of and I've all, I'm also playing on a relatively big size, like physically big monitor. Um, it makes so that the GUI can be a lot smaller and it'll still look very normal to me. I don't feel like if I were to increase the GUI size even more, it'll look way too big. So we can walk here. Like I can show you what the GUI size uh, would be if it would be like how the same proportions if I were to on be on my classical 1080p display. It'd be something like this. Like this is how the it used to be. I just this is way too big for me. This is uh, looks just. Uh, too uh, bloated on my monitor and I can like read perfectly fine here but if I was on my 1080p display which is both a small monitor so it would just look too small but also the pixels and since the 4k monitor has more pixels then it's harder to also read because they're going to look very blurry when they're very small the text will look very small but now since I've got so many pixels on my 4k display I can actually read stuff pretty well but I hope this will improve the quality. I hope this will not explode my hard disk. I've actually bought a new hard disk as well, just so I can get enough space for the uh, the footages. Because I mean, this is essentially four times the amount of data per video. But we're going to the abyss. One of the uh, activities in Eve Online, which I think looks the most beautiful. Oh, we got some plex right here. I wonder why. Oh yeah, it must have been from the partner program, uh, because you get that actually every three months. Okay, uh, raging firestorm. Let's go. Uh, the abyss, I think, is the one most beautiful looking scenery you've got in the whole of EVE Online. So that's why I just think it'll be a great test platform to just examine the beauties of the abyss together with you guys in beautiful 4K. But let's go and get down to business. We've got spearfishes, illuminated dissipators. We're going to take out dissipators and fire watches. Little hammerheads. You can take out the little frigates over here. And then we can use augmented super DPS for the dissipators over here. It was a bit of a challenge to put together my computer because I had a faulty motherboard, so I had to return that. It's uh, The motherboard is the part of the PC that sort of connects everything together, like the different... The graphics card is what processes all the graphics, and you've got the CPU which does all the general calculations. The motherboard is a very essential part of your computer, and mine was broken, so just my computer was not even starting, so I bought, had to buy a new one. It was a lengthy drama, but finally everything's stable. And I feel like it's well worth it because now I can finally play in beautiful 4K, and it's it's a really awesome experience, in particularly Eve Online, I think, because I know that many people they play games like uh, shooting games, especially, and quite low resolutions just to get as many FPS as possible, uh, or like you know this is just as smooth as possible. But I feel like in Eve Online, I don't really care too much about how smooth it is. My computer is quite beastly right now with this new graphics card, so it is able to run it quite smoothly. But uh, often people who are running like really fast games don't have the, the like time to really appreciate all the graphics as much, like in these very fast FPS games like I don't know, CS:GO or something like that, Counter Strike. You usually don't like you're moving all over the place. You're not really able to appreciate the graphics as much. But when you've got like a bit of a slower game like Eve Online, then you just you see everything. You see all the scenery see how cool it looks it just uh, I feel like it benefits a lot more and then especially when you've got like a bigger monitor that can sort of encapsulate your whole vision hopefully this will look good if anyone is watching this on TVs because not me but people some people in my family do like to watch YouTube on the TV so I know there is a form of watching YouTube which I was actually not particularly aware of I don't know I'm used to watching YouTube on the phone or on the computer but 
apparently a lot of people watch on TV too. Charges. Recently in EVE Online I've been having a bit of a trouble finding interesting things to do and it's just that there's not been particularly many content updates and I've been a bit dry on ideas and dry on ideas has a bit to do with that. You know, you can only play the same game and do the same things for a certain amount of time until it gets starts to get a little bit repetitive and I like to test do new different things and that's something I love about the abyss is that you can always test different things try different do different strategies especially on my character who's you know going for the t0 to t6 abyss series there's always new stuff going on it's fun to see what next uh, uh, piece of technology he's able to unlock but recently in EVE Online, it's just, even, apart from that, I've always loved the fact that they've been releasing like content updates. That, for example, the last major one with the Triglava innovation, I like that a lot. Like different things going on around the universe. And it just felt like there was always something uh, happening. Uh, unfortunately, there's not been so much going on. We have had the events, but they've only, the events, you know, these like events when you've got Sanchi invasion, you've got the blood raiders attacking i like these events these are quite cool in my opinion i think they really give something short term to do but they only last for you know a limited amount of time so it's not really something that is going on all the time and it's good because if if something exists all the time it's not going to be special in some way uh, initially when i started playing you online i earned my first like fat is was when doing a blood raider site uh, one of these blood raider events uh, and I got like a cerebral accelerator that went for like 20 million. It's like, whoa, that's so great. But then, you know what? Like, I think the next day or the day after, I think it was either the next day or the next day after, um, the event disappeared because there, it was only a limited time event. So I was just like heartbroken. I was like, oh no, the only way I was able to scrape together some isk has been just taken away. But it sort of adds a bit to the special nature of it. It will not be as special. And then if it like exists all the time then you've also got other events that occur all the time but recently it's been a bit of a period where i've not had much going on uh or not really been uh flourishing in items to do in eve online and then i've been having like very busy very busy schedules with the university as well but i've got my current placement at the hospital uh that's quite far away from where i live so i have to commute quite far so Really, there's not been a whole lot of time to play games it's been a bit difficult and mainly been thinking about just oh, what to study what, what the next thing to do there that's been the biggest thing that's been on my mind rather than games unfortunately unfortunately there's a real life not just game life <laughs> but without that it would just make gaming be like just like a I feel like when you have a bit of uh, stuff going on in real life or when you have a bit of stresses in real life it can to a certain degree it can make uh, you appreciate the relaxation of having good gaming time i really think it does so I, I remember when i did my high school exams many 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 years ago uh, I, ha I had i was studying probably for about three months uh, i decided just that no games for three months <laughs> I've never not played games for that uh, l long amount of time. I've always loved playing video games since I was four years old. And I just, uh, I never didn't play any games at all. But the feeling of playing games again after that, oh, it was so great. It was so great. I don't, like, I remember when I held my mouse, because <laughs> I hadn't touched a mouse uh, for like three months or maybe two and a half months no, maybe not three months but two and a half months because i was just using my laptop to study on because i had like a school laptop that i used to study on uh and then just held my mouse and i was like whoa this feels amazing using a mouse because i just i think i know there's some people who love the touch pads on their laptops and i think they can be good especially nowadays but i think this he'll never beat a mouse it'll never beat a mouse controversial opinion right there but I, I love the mice. So it can just really make you appreciate the games a bit more. The same way when I've got this new monitor right here. I can appreciate the graphics a lot more when I'm coming from a, a little bit of a more basic display bit from before. Oh, I just, just noticed the shields are pretty low. Why are they getting so low when there's so little, like, hardware on the grid? Not, not hardware, I mean, like... DPS. Uh, they just they got a few frigates in this cruiser right here. I think I should have a bit more shields since I've especially been having this Pythium C type medium shield booster going on all the time. 
well, that's just the way it is sometimes. Sometimes the sleep, sometimes the sleep is decided to be get quite brutal. Uh, also, a thing to think about is that the sleep is they do do EM damage, and we've got pretty low EM damage, and we've also got low thermal damage because of the minus seventy percent thermal resistance right there. I don't know if you can tell, but the 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 fonts might look slightly different, and it depends a little bit what you're watching on. If you're watching on a 1080p display, it might look a little bit blurry. For me, they look if you're like uh, they're slightly bigger than a 1080p display uh, font would be because we've got four times the amount of pixels right here. So I'm just looking at these uh, these fonts right here, and they look slightly different because it's sort of like an upscaled variant of the font. Little things you notice when you've got a different set of eyes in your gaming life. <laughs> I've never never ever touched 4K. I've always had a 1080p display. I Pretty much, I've only had a 1080p display. My dad, he was always a really big fan of having uh, really top of the notch uh, technology. So, when we were young, we'd always have the 1080p display. Ever since I can remember, we always had the 1080p display because that was like the big thing. It was like 720p or 1080p. 4K was not even a thing. So, see, he was always getting a 1080p. So, as far as I can remember, it's always been 1080p. And I just kept on going for 1080p because I just thought that's enough. I don't need to bother dropping my frame rates for reasons other than just getting more pixels but now I finally decided to pull the trigger so that I'd pull the trigger and get a walking motor oh a lot of spark lances right here do a little bit careful because these guys do fully EM damage they're gonna hit hard so you a little bit, little bit careful take out all these guys have we got any decent loot it's crap loot right there perhaps we can get something good from the buy adaptive cash but so far it has been pretty lackluster can switch the drones on the rogue drones over here lock this up and approach the loot the things I noticed that look very like, different when it comes to using 4k is that it has a lot to do with what I was talking about before where the UI is smaller because because it's smaller I feel like I can zoom in more to my ship and I feel like I can appreciate my ship a bit more. Uh, the streamer Marky Dragon, he's pretty well known, he often, I noticed that how is he able to like, view a lot of his ship and it has to do with that I think he's using a 1440p monitor so not as big as 4k but uh, he is able to like uh, still have a bit of smaller GUI since he's got like a lot more pixels on his screen. So I always notice that oh, it looks cool how he's able to view his you know, ship a lot and just have the GUI be a bit of like a thing on the side. Okay, so here's a good example of something to just keep in mind when, you, when you're building your own computer. If you, uh, I think it increases the likelihood of something going wrong if you've maybe not installed some driver or some graphics driver, I'm not really sure what it is, but Sometimes your computer can be a bit on the, on, the, on the unstable side and that's what caused me to crash right now. <laughs> Luckily, I followed my own guidelines of always approaching objects like this. I didn't just double click in space. Maybe otherwise if I just double click in space I would have just gone into infinity. But at least we're back into the abyss. And uh, I managed to recover the part of my videos. Or the, the, well, I just, I could see in my footage folder that the video was watchable from before. That's pretty lucky right there. Bull shields as well. Great, great, great. Let's go to the orange and conduit, see if we've got any uh, bad guys on the other side. You've got some chaotic gamma. That was pretty nice to see because 12.5 million. Okay, any gankers? No jankers. No gankers. Okay. <laughs> jankers. Let's go and dock back up in Jita. I'm quite curious what the price of these gammas are because it says 12.5 million. Oh, yeah, they are a bit on the expensive side. Uh, yeah, the buy price is even pretty high. The 13, 13.5 for the chaotic gammas. Gammas, they're, they're quite easy to run if you've got the passive gearless. And just generally speaking, I don't understand why the gammas are still so expensive because, like, the the gearless, they're so expensive naturally with their base hold price Docking being off the chart. Requested. So Docking I don't know why Docking. these uh, films are still really high. I feel like they might have even gone down in price because of like you know the increased difficulty of getting the gila. But I mean, if you look at the gila price, gila, 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 where's gila? Yeah, three hundred million. It used to be like one hundred and fifty million, like here. 
something like this just went up but i mean if you're using like a blink i guess this increase in price won't make the either make it or break it for you to get the gear but still it's gonna make those f filament sites less less accessible so there we go did a bit of a t4 firestorm right there we'll repair our battered up drones in glorious 4k so i hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know in the comments uh, what you thought about the 4k experience and if you are uh like think that oh it didn't feel that great uh or like you're using maybe 1080p display you're watching in 1080p you're not even able to watch in 4k uh, let me know what you thought about like the gui scale and that kind of stuff because i'm just trying to find some settings that sort of work for the most common denominator overwhelming majority of people use 1080p displays but i feel like even for 1080p displays it'll be good that the gui is a bit smaller so you can see more of the ship and then for people who do use 1440p or 4k displays you can appreciate the graphics of eva line <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.